Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Today's video presents a captivating lab activity focused on demonstrating wave phenomena. This insightful demonstration originally created and owned by Cambridge Assessment International Education. Waves are an oscillation, regular movement back and forth which transfers energy through a medium. How waves are affected as they move will be demonstrated in this experiment. Waves can be represented in many ways. In this example, a spring has been used to demonstrate their different properties. Here, energy is being transferred from left hand to the right. This causes the spring to bunch together in places and then spread out. Although energy is being transferred along the length of the spring, each individual loop is just moving backwards and forwards. This back and forward motion is called an oscillation. The number of oscillations that happen in this specific time is called the frequency. Frequency is the number of waves that pass a point every second and is measured in hertz. If one wave passes in a second, the frequency is 1 hertz. The speed of a wave can be calculated using the equation speed is equal to frequency times wavelength. Where waves cluster, this is called compression. When they spread out, this is called rarefaction. The distance between two successive compressions or two successive rarefactions is called the wavelength. The distance a point moves on the wave from its position of rest is called the amplitude. The larger the amplitude, the more energy the wave has. When the energy transfer is parallel to the direction of oscillation, this is called a longitudinal wave. In this case, energy is still being transferred from left to right. However, each individual loop in the spring is moving perpendicular to the direction of energy. This is called a transverse wave. The distance between two successive peaks or two successive troughs is called the wavelength. The amplitude is the distance from equilibrium, the middle point, to the peak or a trough. When this distance is short, the wave is described as having a small amplitude. Notice that as the number of oscillations increase, so does the amplitude. As with the longitudinal wave, the number of waves that pass a fixed point in a second is called the frequency. If one peak passed a point in one second, this would be 1 hertz. If two passed in one second, the frequency would be 2 hertz, etc. Note the differences and similarities between longitudinal and transverse waves. In a longitudinal wave, the oscillations are parallel to the energy transfer. In the transverse waves, the oscillations are perpendicular to the energy transfer. Light is another example of a transverse wave. We can show how waves are reflected by a plane surface by showing how light is reflected by a mirror. The light ray coming towards the mirror is called the incident ray. The angle this ray meets, the normal is called the angle of incidence. It is shown by letter I. The angle that ray is reflected from the mirror away from the normal is the angle of reflection. The ray leaving the mirror is called the reflected ray. The angle of incidence and angle of reflection are always equal. No matter how the ray box is moved, the angle of incidence always equal the angle of reflection. This is called the law of reflection. Angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Waves are slowed when they travel through different substances. As the light ray travels through the glass block, the path it was traveling on changes. The light ray is bent at the boundary of the two substances. This is called refraction. It is caused because the light ray travels more slowly in glass, which is more dense than air. If the angle of incidence ray and the refracted ray 
are measured it is clearly they are different the refracted angle is smaller this shows that when light waves travel from a less dense medium such as air to the more denser medium such as glass the light is bent towards the normal when the light ray goes from the more dense medium to the less dense medium it then bends away from the normal another wave phenomenon is called diffraction this is a spreading out of waves here the water waves is spread out in arcs as they pass through the gap as the gap widens less diffraction takes place when the gap between the wave fronts is smaller than the gap the waves are passing through not much diffraction takes place now the distance between the wave fronts is closer to the width of the gap this causes greater diffraction waves also diffract when they meet the edge of a surface how much they diffract is controlled by the wavelength and the width of the object the waves encounter as before when the wavelength increases so too does the amount of diffraction examples of waves are all around us for example the waves are see in the open oceans are examples of transverse waves the water moves up and down while the energy of the water is transferred through the land sound waves are examples of longitudinal waves energy is given to the air particles by your voice the air particles transfer energy to their neighbors and energy moves in the same direction as the oscillation so i think it's enough for today so thank you very much for listening and watching i hope you enjoyed the video i hope this video is useful for you so take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question query suggestion and even classes are required take care of yourself meanwhile see you in the next video goodbye